this is what I'm going to be testing. Uh, so I'm not really testing them so much. I've already uh, experimented with all three of these varieties, uh, species of uh, trinitrophenolates. But I'm just going to do a comparison test on them because I've never done like a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back comp uh, of them. So I figured, you know, that'd be kind of interesting to do. And maybe you guys would enjoy seeing the testing, so I figured I'd film it. Uh, sorry, no syntheses in this video. However, I mean, everything here. Uh, I think I, I think I have my picker acid video on there. Uh, I forget. I don't know. If not, I'll have to get a picker acid video out to you guys. But basically, if you don't know what pick rates are, these are all uh, energetic materials. Um, and these three actually are all primaries uh, as far as they are primary explosives or primers um, uh, and they are high explosives uh, in there so that makes them primary high explosives and the interesting thing I think uh, really about these is that they're all derived from aspirin uh, the same aspirin that you know we take for headaches and what have you um, so yeah, so that's kind of cool. And so we're going to do the potassium, lithium, and lead. I didn't write it on there, but um, this is actually um, basic lead species of pick rate. There's a couple different kinds of the lead pick rate, uh, depending on what you use as a precursor. And I use nitrate for this, so I had to make it basic. If you start with uh, lead oxide, you can make regular. Uh, however, as far as performance and velocity of detonation, it's really, uh, I mean, some reports I've seen show it to be pretty much uh, dead on balls the same, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, I actually prefer the basic because it's a lot easier to make. Um, as you know, I like to make all of my reagents I can, and lead oxide is not the uh, easiest thing in the world to make. I mean, you might think it is because, yeah, okay, all i got to do is throw some lead nitrate into a crucible, uh, or even carbonate would work, uh, but then you got to pyrolyze it to oxidize it to um, oxide from the nitrate or the carbonate, and that takes a decent amount of heat, um, and you can't do it for too long because if you do, then it'll decompose all the way back to lead, and you end up with lead stuck in your crucible, and then as it's cooling it will inevitably crack it because of the uh, variance in uh, the coefficient of thermal expansion obviously so um, yeah it's just much easier going uh, using the nitrate salt instead of having to go down I mean there's plenty of things that you need lead oxide for but this isn't one of them as far as I'm concerned um, so I, I figured I'd line them all up so you guys could see them uh, I've already packed these into little blasting caps and strapped them to cans uh, they uh, I did 350 milligrams of each one and um, since you didn't see me do it I figured I'd tell you just a little bit and show them to you so the potassium pick rate is you know this guy here is the prettiest of the three in my opinion it's very very sparkly and shiny and this nice golden color uh, and it is as far as uh, comparing all three of these uh, species it is of medium density as far as the pick rates go uh, then in the middle here is another pretty one, not quite as pretty, but it's pretty enough. This is lithium pick rate, or lithium trinitrophenolate. Uh, all of these are, pick rate is the common name, trinitrophenolate is like the IUPAC name or whatever the an acronym is, abbreviation, I don't ever remember it, but yeah. So most people call them pick rates, but they're technically trinitrophenolates. Uh, when you are making picric acid, you are making trinitrophenolate. Uh, that's what you're doing with the aspirin. You are effectively trinitrating it. So, anyhow, uh, that's where the trinitrophenolate anion comes from. And then here we go. We have lead picrate or lead trinitrophenolate. And it is rather ugly. It's kind of a dark mustard uh, coloring. I mean, if you're an artist, you would probably call it like a uh, maybe a, a raw umber or maybe like a light burnt sienna. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's an amorphous powder. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the crystal structures of these. So yeah, the lead is an amorphous powder, and that is with either of the varieties, either the basic or the regular lead picrate. Uh, lithium picrate, uh, it's actually, it's kind of like a powder, but I mean, you can see, you know, there's little every once in a while, you see it like, right there at the tip of my finger, there's a little sparkle. It, it, they are actually little tiny crystals in there, so you can see them shimmering if I move it around and let the light play on it. Uh, so they're just real small, and I don't have a microscope to throw them under, but they look round from up here, so if anybody knows what they look like under a mic, I'd actually be uh, curious to hear, so you can leave it in the comments if you want, uh, because, uh, yeah, I just don't have one, you know, uh, and it's, but they look round anyhow. At least a lot rounder than these guys here, uh, you know, which are definitely very, very needle-like. Uh, as far as appearance goes, other than color, it doesn't really change too much from picric acid. You know, picric acid is almost this color of a yellow, um, needle-like. So it's this color yellow. This structure is what picric acid should look like if it's done properly anyhow. At least as far as I know, it's always come out looking like that for me. And uh, then... Um, so this is the potassium, this is how it, it differs from the picric acid is. Uh, the picric acid isn't really as shimmery as this whatsoever. This is very shimmery and that's because of the uh, potassium cation that's in there. We have a metal in there. And uh, it's not quite this, like this is more of what I would call like a, a gold color or like a, uh, you know, geez, I don't know even what an artist would call this. It, it's, it's like a metallic uh, maze kind of. I guess so and, and this would probably this would be you know pale yellow um, the camera makes it look a little bit darker yellow actually but uh, I mean it, canary yellow I guess that'd be a good anyhow I'm, I'm just rambling so let's get on with this and uh, I'm gonna go set up and let's get the uh, fun part underway That was really disappointing. I mean, <laughs> didn't even poke a hole in any of these cans. Uh, lithium, obviously, it was not even a complete detonation. Though it looked kind of impressive. I mean, it barely even made a dent. You can see all that yellow stuff on the ground there. That was the lithium. This was potassium. Didn't do anything, really. I mean, there's a dent in the can. That's about it. Didn't even shred the aluminum. That I had it in all the way so that's rather unimpressive and then you know this was lead pick right this was supposed to be the mac daddy of them all you know <laughs> none of these are really very impressive as far as primaries go I mean good place to start you know if you want to start getting into energetics I guess but yeah boo <laughs> 